Hey everyone, welcome to the channel where we talk about all things movies. Welcome especially if you're new. If you love talking about movies and just staying up to speed on what's in theaters and what's worth checking out, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my reviews when they're posted. Alright, with that we'll get right on into the review for today. I just got back from seeing Brian and Charles at the theater, so let's talk about it. In this movie, after a, after a particularly harsh winter, Brian goes into a deep depression, completely isolated and with no one to talk to. Brian does what any sane person would do when faced with such a melancholic situation. He builds a robot. Uh, detect the sarcasm there, obviously. So my anticipation going into this film was it was neither high nor low. It was pretty much non-existent. I think I saw one trailer for this movie and it looked intriguing uh, uh, and a little weird at the same time so but went in yeah pretty much no expectations so let's talk about what i thought of the movie now that i've seen it so we'll start off with the things that i liked about the film and first and foremost i liked the style of the film and what i mean by that is this is shot as a mockumentary which we don't see very many movies use this sort of style, but it's the style that, you know, The Office made very popular, Modern Families, another sitcom like that, you know, Parks and Rec. So this is very much like that, where you have, yeah, it, it looks like a documentary. You've got the character talking to camera, and it's more than one character, so it's it's not like it's all just from their point of view. You have, you have a couple characters uh, acknowledge the camera's presence at times. And you even get the, there's a couple times where you get like the cameraman or camera person, uh, you know, speaking to the character in the movie. So that was, that was kind of interesting. But I like seeing that. You don't get to see that a whole lot in films. So I thought that was pretty fresh for this film. Now, next up, kind of going through the characters, the, uh, we'll talk about the things that I, I liked and well i mean i think at this point going through the characters it'll i i may throw in some things i didn't care for as much but uh the main character is brian and i thought he was very well done he's not the sort of person i'd probably be friends with he's uh he's definitely a very very interesting personality but very amusing to watch on screen i think the first like 10 15 minutes of the film were the most fun just you, you see all of his like crazy inventions and just the weirdest things that he thinks up of to build uh but that's great because you know that's that's kind of his thing and it's it's uh he's very creative we'll, we'll definitely give him that but uh yeah he uh like sometimes things work out sometimes they don't you just move on to the next one uh so he's he is he's very amusing and brought a lot of laughs to the film and then so charles is the robot that he builds and Charles as well was very amusing. He was, yeah, they they kind of treat him as a kid in the movie. Like he's very fast at learning, but he he also learns and he you know acts out at times like a, a child would and that sort of thing. So I thought that was an interesting relationship because they they set it up as a friendship between him and Brian, but also there's like a father son sort of relationship there too. So it, it kind of has a couple layers at that. The uh, There's another character, her name is Hazel, and she's presented as a friend of, uh, of Brian's, and potentially potentially more than that. Won't really get into spoilers or anything, but they, they at least know each other. They, uh, early on in the film, say hello. He doesn't talk to too many people, so... The, uh, but she was she's played by... I don't know the actress's name, but she plays the... Is she the, like, mortician, maybe, from the show Sherlock? But uh, in that in that show, she has, like, a crush on Sherlock. So that's, like, the only other role that I know of. Uh, and it was kind of interesting to see her play a sort of similar character, uh, we'll just say. So the she, I thought, was a good addition to the film. And uh, the last kind of main character, his name is Eddie, and he's sort of the... For lack of a better word, he's the town he's the town bully basically, and uh, but he's you know like a forty forty like forty fifty year old man uh, probably forty, but he he just kind of does what he wants around town, and I thought he was, I mean they did a good job of creating his character because I was very angry at him throughout the whole film uh, based off the way that he acts. Same with his daughters, 
they're just spoiled little brats. But it's not the most enjoyable feeling to have like anger towards a character in a film. Uh, you know, they they did a good job when you when you have that, but it it doesn't necessarily make the film more enjoyable for it. But the uh, yeah, so he set up though as a character, and I think they uh, it's it's a good it brings a bit of an interesting side to the story because it makes Brian want to not like publicize Charles's existence because he doesn't want to like lose him or he he just doesn't know how people are gonna react. I think so. But yeah, the this is a this is a non spoiler review, so we'll we'll kind of keep it at that. I thought the the characters were were good all around, and I don't really have yeah too many negatives. I think the second act was a little slow. Um, the third act was different than I was expecting, so that was that was kind of interesting. I think the first act though was my favorite. It almost feels like this was originally a short story or a short movie, which it may have been, but I don't know for sure. I didn't look that up. And it feels like that's what we got in the first act, and then they had to kind of flesh it out to get a whole movie. And it was still fun and amusing at the like throughout the rest of the film, but I think the, the first act is where it was strongest. But uh, yeah, overall, I would say this was this was a good film. I would give it a letter grade of a B. So it's not one that I'd straight up recommend, but if you're looking for something to watch, I'd say it's worth checking out. Probably doesn't demand the theater experience, and so if if you're on the fence, then you can probably just catch it when it comes around on streaming. But uh, yeah, so this is this is a movie I would say in short is amusing. And it does a good job of kind of reflecting on themes like friendship and parenthood and standing up for yourself, especially to bullies. So that I thought they were all good themes and worth examination. And they do they yeah they've got it's a movie with something to say. So uh, yeah, if you've been able to see this film, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this review, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next review.